Today you get to see what's in this box sent to me by Wacom. It's a pretty big box and there's a lot of stuff in it. So let's open it up and see what's inside. As you may or may not know, Wacom has updated the Wacom One line of tablets. So this is everything Wacom One. So it might be a little confusing because rather than One by Wacom, these smaller versions are now called the Wacom One. First, I have a Wacom One Pen Tablet Small. This is a tablet without a screen that you draw onto with a pen. I will be reviewing these in depth in separate reviews, so this will just be an unboxing. So before we take each of these out of the individual boxes, let's go ahead and just see what's in the box overall. Next up, we have a Wacom One Pen Tablet Medium. So this is slightly bigger than the small version, as you can see here. But again, I'll be comparing these side by side so we can see what the features are and how big the difference is between the sizes. After that, we have a Wacom One pen display, and this is the 12 version. So this is a display that you can draw directly onto with your pen, and there are two different sizes of this. The second size is the Wacom One 13, and again, this is a display you draw directly onto. This version is bigger and has better features than the smaller version, but I'll go over all that in another video. That's it for the tablets. Now we have some accessories. This is a Wacom One rear cover, so this goes on to the Wacom One display tablet. I have two of these, and as you can see, one is meant for the 12 and one is meant for the 13. Next we have a stand for the Wacom One. This allows it to be set up at an angle. There is also a pen case for the Wacom One. So a pen case might be a little bit confusing. It's actually part of the pen and the pen can be customized with different colors. So there's a front case and a back case. This is the front case and in this case it is white. With that, you can customize the rear. I have a yellow, a lime, champagne gold, mint, white, and gray. All right, so now I'll take some stuff out of the boxes. Let's start with these smaller pen cases. Let's go ahead and do the main pen case here. I'll go ahead and start with the pen case front. One thing you'll notice about all of this packaging is it's all recycled cardboard. It has very minimal packaging elements, so that's good. It'd be great to see more products come in packaging like this. This one comes with some instructions. There are some nibs wrapped in paper, a nib remover that's made out of metal and then the pen case itself. It's kind of a sticky fabric here wrapped around it to protect it. And you can see it's just the base of the pen with two buttons. It's important to note that when you're ordering the Wacom One display tablet, you need to customize it if you're ordering it online. Otherwise, if you buy it retail, it'll come with everything you need. But that means that when you're purchasing this, you need to purchase the pen front, the pen back, the stand, and so on. Next, let's do one of the pen case backs. Again, this just has a little bit of tape here. There's a little bit of tape on the bottom as well that I didn't see. It's printed with soy ink, it says. That's cool. So this is the bottom. It's wrapped up the same way. This one is the white one, and as you can see, it simply screws onto the pen. I'll go ahead and just quickly open the remaining cases just to get those out of the way. So here are all the pen cases. As you can see, we can unscrew this and screw on a different end. Changes the look of the pen. This is a really nice champagne colored one. Has a nice metallic finish. Adds a little bit of weight to the back. I put on this plastic one and it has the little pocket holder thing. Feels a bit lighter without that metal on the end. And then we have a plastic one here that does not have the pocket holder. And it has kind of more of a textured grip. So you can really customize your pen however you like. You know, maybe you don't like having this pocket holder. Maybe you do. I'm going to go ahead and go with the champagne one because I like that one the best. Next, let's open the stand. And this, at first, might not look like a stand to you. You'll see what it can do in just a minute here when I open up one of the Wacom ones. Let's start with the 12 inch model of the pen display. Inside we have a quick setup guide and then with some more of that fabric stuff we have the tablet itself 
Here you can see it's in really nice condition with no fingerprints on it. It's not going to stay that way for long. Now because this is the retail package for this, it comes with a pen, so I didn't order it online and have to choose the pen that way. But the downside to that is that you don't get a nice champagne or, or whatever colored back end that you want. If that doesn't matter to you and you just want the whole meal deal, then this is what you want to get. There's also a nib remover, some extra nibs, the quick start guide, we lift that up. Then we have a single USB-C to USB-C cable, which you can use to connect the Wacom 1 to your computer if it has a USB-C port that supports video. And we have another USB-C to USB-C cable. How peculiar, or is it? If we look in here, then we have a little power adapter. And when you're ordering this online, you can choose which cable you want. That way you don't get a bunch of extra cables that you don't need. So I can take this cable, plug one end into my tablet, which supports USB-C. This other end goes into the adapter here. Don't mind me, I'm not going to bother reading the instructions. I'm just going to try to figure it out and probably break the cable. There we go. Just snaps on like that, instantly converting it to a power adapter. So I have two options here. If I'm buying the retail version of this, I'm getting the power cable and I'm getting a USB-C cable. They look identical to me as far as I can tell. I'll put this back in its case for now. And then now let's open the 13 inch version of the Wacom 1. Here you can see it looks quite similar, although I do see one key difference, which I'll point out later. Here's the back side, as you can see, looks the same as the Wacom 112. And of course it has the same pen and cords and all the other accessories that come with it because this is the retail version. Let's take a quick look at how we can use the stand. These stand pieces have sort of a magnetic thing going on the bottom. You can feel them resisting each other, but if you flip it, then they stick together. You can also rotate these like so, and this is how you stand your tablet up. So for example, I might want to place one here and one about there, and I can put my tablet like so. Now, if your desk happened to be metal, which many school desks are, then the stand would attach firmly to your desk. Now you might be thinking, well, it doesn't even attach to it. What kind of stand is that? Well, the advantage here is that I can very easily pack this into my laptop bag, put these in my laptop bag. I can even snap them together. And this is all I really need to bring with me. I don't need to have a giant stand to carry in my backpack. Now let's take a look at the rear cover. So this is an accessory that you can add on if you like. Totally optional, but some people may want to customize the back of their tablet. Maybe you're in a classroom with a lot of people who have the same tablet. How will you set yours apart? Well, you can add the rear case here. This is a clear hard plastic case, and it simply snaps on the back. Makes it nice and glossy. Now, if something spills on the table and it ends up getting on the tablet, I can easily wipe this off and it's not going to stain the actual device. It's not going to scratch. Well, this will scratch, but the tablet itself won't scratch. You can put stickers on it. You could write your name on it. Whatever. Very nice accessory. And it makes the tablet feel a bit more grippy, too, if you're holding it in your hands. Same deal with the case for the 12-inch model. Again, this is built specifically for the 12-inch model. It won't work on the 13, and the 13 won't work on the 12. Oh, I touched the screen. Oh, no. Well, there's the first fingerprints. And then last but not least, we have these Wacom ones, the small and the medium, that do not have a built-in display. So these are a bit more basic, but they're also much more affordable. Comes inside of that familiar fabric, and there we go. Little baby sized tablet. Isn't that cute? And it looks very similar on the back to the other Wacom one. So this is the most basic tablet that you can get from Wacom as far as the, the most current model here. It's very small, but it does everything you need it to do. It also comes with a pen. As you can see, it is identical to the pen that comes with the Wacom one display tablet. 
And again, you can customize it if you don't like that gray. Also has two buttons, which is nice. Here's the medium sized one. Pop that out. A little Bluetooth light blinked there for a second. This does support Bluetooth. And again, it looks very similar to the smaller version. See a size comparison here. Quite a bit larger. A medium size is what I would recommend for my smallest tablet size, but you can still do a lot of different things like handwriting and photo editing and even some light drawing on these smaller ones. And again, you got the pen. You have a USB-C to USB-C cable. One is at a right angle, that one plugs into the tablet. If you don't have USB-C on your computers, you can always convert USB-C to USB-A very easily using an adapter. You have some nibs and a nib remover. So there you go, that's everything that was in the box. I'm going to put it all together and I'm going to make videos for each of these tablets, comparing them to each other and so on. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.